If you ever try to understand color theory, there, there is no chance you haven't seen one of these schemes. Let's say you want to make use of this precious knowledge. You add a noise and look up with a ramp and manually assign all those colors so that it would look cool. The problem is, it's slow, not only to set up in the first place, but if you want to change something, you have to go manually through all these colors that you just set. So, I know what you're thinking, there, there must be a better way, right? And yeah, I found at least one, L let me show you. First of all, let's sort the color scheme thing. Add a constant, we only need one pixel to define the color. Now let's set it to be something other than white. Add an HSV adjust top, let's go for a triangular, shall we? For that, set the hue offset to 120. Duplicate it, set the offset of the second one to minus 120, that's a triangle. Let's set a layout, connect all three colors to it, activate scale resolution, and you've got yourself a basic color ramp. You can already use it with a lookup to color your noise, and no matter what base color you choose, you still get a perfect triangular match. But what if you need a circle ramp? Actually, you can generate any ramp with those colors. When you press this little pink arrow on the ramp, the table that will appear. We need to generate these values. To do that, convert your layout top to a chop and then convert that chop to a dot. Activate include names. We already got the most part of the table here. Now let's generate position values. Add a pattern chop and change the type to ramp. Now copy this name. To get the length parameter automatically, you need to use this Python expression. It's a link to our top to chop operator and num samples property. That will tell the pattern chop how many pixels you are trying to convert. Now convert this pattern to dat, include names on, and rename the pattern channel to pause. All we need to do is to merge these two tables. Add a merge dat. Connect this one first, now connect the other one. Go to merge parameters and choose append columns. Drag the data onto the ramp, connect it to a lookup, and here we go. You can change the period and the phase, you can change the base color, or you can even use a noise stop as a base color. Just imagine how long will it take you to set this kind of ramp manually. You can use a movie file in, why not? Just pass it through a fit top to reduce resolution, or it may freeze.